We're going to go ahead and start today's uh, pre-race media availabilities for Sunday's Auto Club 400. And we are joined by Kyle Larson, driver of the number 42 Credit One Bank Chevrolet for Chip Ganassi Racing. We'll open the floor up for questions. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. We'll start with Kathy, and we'll go to Chase. Um, yeah, I mean, I was surprised. I thought we would, or I thought I would feel the wind a lot more um, when, when I was out there, but I, I didn't feel too much of it. And I think when I made my single car run, you know, I, I felt a, I think a headwind down the front and maybe a tailwind down the back a little bit. Um, so that was about the only time I could really feel the wind. Um, and then, yeah, I, I don't know. I think um, when we get to qualifying, I think we'll get a better idea of, of what everybody's plans are as far as drafting and things like that. And I think the first round, if your car is good enough, you can make it without drafting. But then I think the next two rounds, you know, you'll need to get somewhat of a toe. So um, that's kind of the fun part about this package so far is that you don't really know what to expect going to each you know, practice session or uh, qualifying or the race. Go next to Bob, then to Jeff, then to Wolfgang. Well, Bob Hockris, Fox Sports. Uh, next week, Martinsville. After what you saw in October with Logano and Truex, does that change at all your thoughts of, kind of what might be inbounds versus what might be out of bounds? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I would just love to be in their position in the top two at the end of the race at Martinsville <laughs> <laughs> rather than, like, outside the top 20. So um, I don't know. I mean, I, I felt like Martin raced probably how I would have. So, um, you know, I would have been bitter also. But then, you know, obviously, you know, with Joey – making that move, um, it led him to win the championship. So I think it's a little different maybe earlier in the year than it is when you get to the playoff time, but um, it's short track racing, and uh, you know, everybody, everybody's raised a little differently. Jeff? Are you guys expecting tire wear to come into play even more than usual here? Like, are, are you thinking that it's going to be like a total tire management race? I wouldn't say more than normal, um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I still think – car set up and and yeah you know tire management will still be important um but I, I don't know if you'll be you know short pitting as much as we've done in the past here and things like that you know i think with a downforce you can maintain grip longer throughout a run so yeah i mean i don't think it's going to be i think the lower the downforce you have the more you know you have to manage everything than than now go next to wolfgang then to dustin then to claire then to lee uh, Wolfgang Munzer from Germany, Rangeport Press Agency. I have a follow-up question from the first one with the wind situation. Is it difficult to set up the car? Does it affect the aero balance of the car? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know. We've got a new engineer um, from the 78 last year, uh, Jazzy, and it's been you know, interesting to hear him talk you know, each and every week about you know, the wind and in what direction it's going and you know, how that's going to affect the balance. So that's stuff that I've, you know, I guess thought about in the past, but never really thought about how it would affect the setup and how the crew chiefs would have to go about setting up the car. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think there's different things you can do to, uh, you know, adjust for the win, but I'm not really sure what that is. Dustin? Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Um, Kyle, you are just talking about, I guess, kind of driver code or kind of how you treat other people. You know, if I remember right, I think early in your career, there were a lot of questions about you kind of being, in a sense, almost too nice in, in certain situations. Um, and I just kind of wonder, as you've kind of evolved as a driver, how that how, how that code that you treat others or, or how that's adjusted, especially as the competition gets closer at times and aggression needs to be, is rewarded a little bit more than maybe what it is, and how you feel like you've kind of changed or how you've had to adjust to how the sport has changed in the in, in during your career um <clears throat> i don't i don't know i don't i don't really, at least since i've been here i don't think the sports changed as far as driver code and things like that um so yeah i mean i, I don't know i i haven't i guess yeah i mean 2000 i think you know like 16 and 17 and stuff like that is when people maybe were saying that 
where yeah, I was I had more chances to win in 2017, so um, you know stood out more. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I I don't think I've changed really the way I go about racing for wins. Um, you know, I, I feel like I try to race with respect every lap of the race. So um, yeah, I mean, but then you can look at Chicago last year, and and you know, I mean. I was more aggressive than I, I, I guess you know, would, would have been in the past, or maybe it looked like I was. But um, you know, I was okay with getting run into the next corner because I initiated it. So I mean, I, I feel like I have a good understanding of, of, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say what comes around goes around, but, but you know, I wasn't upset then because I initiated it. So um, where I think when you look at, if you're comparing to Martin and Joey's deal, you know, Martin raced him. 100% clean, and then Joey, you know, just got to his back bumper and moved him. So, I don't know. It's just, uh, like I said, everybody's raised and how they race a little different. Thank you. Claire than the Lee. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM, NASCAR Radio. Uh, I took a lot of calls from West Coast race fans in California, and they really <clears throat> are solid on you pulling off the win here. you got a lot of fans here in this part of the country, and you're very good at this track. How do you look at it? How do you look at your ability to pull something off here for the West Coast fans? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. You know we've we you know, won here a couple of years ago, then ran second here last year. You know, I got my first Xfinity win here. I think I've won two now Xfinity races at this track. Um, I've gotten a pole, so it's been a good track for me. And and yeah, I mean it's it's somewhat close to home. You know, it's California, Southern California. I'm from Northern, so it's still you know six and a half hours or so from where I grew up. But yeah. um, and the Outlaws are out west right now, so you don't really get a whole lot of of the sprint car fans that come here, but I still have a lot of, you know, central California, Southern California sprint car fans, you know, that are here and, uh, walking through the garage and taking pictures and, um, sign autographs of, you know, sprint cars that I've ran in the past. So, um, yeah, it's cool to always have support anywhere you go to, but especially in your, your home state is, uh, is nice. So yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, guess it gives me an, a little bit of extra motivation maybe you know to go out there and, and win um you know for all the california people and on the aggressiveness doesn't this package just sort of lend itself to you having to be more aggressive <clears throat> maybe other people um i feel like i'm always really aggressive though no matter what package so um you know restarts especially i i it's it's hard to pass with any package you have so i mean you always have to take advantage of restarts and uh that's somewhere i feel like i've been strong at so um yeah I don't, I don't think i'm any more aggressive than i've i've been in the past lee what happened oh i didn't know that yeah that's the first i've heard of it um i thought you're gonna ask about western springs stuff so um no, I mean, yeah, that's terrible um, anytime you know, that happens. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I didn't even know that happened. I've been flying all late last night, so I didn't uh, wake up and read anything this morning either. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just terrible. You don't uh, you don't want to read about that or, or, or hear about that anywhere. So um, I've never been down to Christchurch, but uh, either way, I mean, you don't want to you don't want to see that happen. Additional questions for Kyle, Dustin. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Kyle, can you put into perspective from your viewpoint, uh, Kyle Busch being you know close to 200 career NASCAR wins, obviously uh, any type of path like that for you would be a lot more difficult because of the restrictions of, of, of what races you can run now, whereas obviously Kyle didn't have those for much of his career. But from a competitor who races a lot and has success that uh, to see somebody else or see what Kyle has done and, and you know, raced against him, just the, the perspective from your viewpoint on that? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I hate to see Kyle Busch win as much as anybody does. But, uh, <laughs> no, um, um, it's, it's just amazing to see how good he is um, in all types of, you know, series and, and race cars. And his win percentage is, it's unbelievable, um, even – you know, with all the, the restrictions that you have now and the amount of races you can run, he still wins just as much, if not more. So, um, and, you know, just 
for him to be as good as he is at every racetrack is is pretty spectacular. You know, I think you you can look at most drivers and, and pinpoint you know their best racetracks. And I don't really know if you can do that with Kyle Busch. You know, he's I think every racetrack is kind of his best track. So um, yeah, for him you know to be you know, one went away from two hundred in you know I'm you know I think people can have your know, opinions on where it stacks up against Richard, but either way, it's, it's amazing. And, uh, he's definitely not, he, he's still got a long career left. You know, he's still really young. So, um, there's no telling how many wins he could end up with before he retires someday. I'm going to come down here to your left. Hey, Kyle. Good. Joe Briggs got your racing in Southern California. <clears throat> when you're traveling at 180 plus, how do you manage not to scrape that number one turn, that wall over there? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it's no different than any turn one that we race at, uh, you know, each and every week. So, I don't know. We've all been doing it a long time. So, it's, it's not like at 180 miles an hour going in a straight line. It's, it's not hard to control. You could go 180 in a straight line, too. So, um, but I don't know. I think just... As your tires wear out, it gets a little tougher, and, and each lap gets harder. But uh, we're professionals, so it's it's just part of the job. Yeah. Go next to Bob. Bob Hockris, Fox Sports. Have you guys talked as a team how in the world not to beat yourselves? Or do you just say, okay, mistakes happen, and <clears> you don't <throat> talk about them? Uh, no, we – yeah, I mean, we talk about them. You know, we haven't had the greatest um, – last three weeks when it comes to execution. So um, we just try and learn from it and, and talk about it and, and figure out how to not make that mistake again. So, um, you know, I think, yeah, I mean, I, I think I only had one speeding penalty last year, and then I sped Atlanta. And then the pit road penalty we had at um, Vegas, uh, I mean, call could have gone either way. Um, and then last week, yeah, I mean, that was kind of embarrassing in, in qualifying. So um, we've never made that mistake before. Um, so, yeah, you just got to, yeah, you just got to learn from your mistakes. And, and you know, this series is so tough that you have to be perfect all week long. You know, from Friday to, to Sunday, you can't make any mistakes. And um, you got to make all the right decisions and uh, just to try and maximize your potential of winning. So putting us back starting 31st last week hurt us in the stages. Um, the pit road penalty at, at Vegas, you know, killed our stage points. So we, we, we could have a lot more points right now and be, you know, up in the top three or four in points, but, uh, we didn't do a great job. So, um, just got to clean that stuff up, but, uh, I'm confident our team can do that. You know, we, we've, we've shown in the past that we can execute. So, uh, just got to clean it up a little bit. Kyle, thanks for taking the time to join us and uh, good luck this weekend. Thanks.